it's a very, very important day in the history of the club, but also a very sad day for us. But um, I've today been advised by Tony Popovich of his intention to resign effective immediately to pursue an overseas professional opportunity. Um, Tony will always be recognised and respected as a great part of this club's history. Um, I've worked closely with Tony from day one since inception. We've come a long way together, along with a lot of good, other good people. Um, we've always known he's had a great future ahead of him in coaching, just like he did as a player. And we are sure that he'll be looking at his time at the Western Sydney Wanderers with fondness and pride, and we'll be watching from afar with pride ourselves. Our members can be assured that we'll be taking our time now to go through the diligent, due diligence required to find the right candidates for a club that this, um, of the stature that this club has to find the right person for the right job right now. We've been inundated for the position in a number of hours already. It just goes to show the stature of the Western Sydney Wanderers has had was come to in the last five years uh, with no um, short of credit going to Tony Popovich himself. While the timing is not ideal, the people of Western Sydney need to know that this is a robust organisation from the board of directors down and will do everything to ensure that this season will be a success. We have no doubt it will be. I'd like to have to throw away over to Tony for a few words. Um, today's a very difficult day um, to hold this press conference. Um, to announce a departure uh, from Western Sydney Wanderers as, as head coach. Um, it's, uh, it's to pursue an opportunity overseas. That's, that's basically what it is and it's in Europe. Um, I've always had the ambition to, to coach overseas. Uh, I've been fortunate enough, as the club knows, to have had opportunities in Asia, but it's Europe where I've always wanted to go. Uh, the club's well aware of that. The timing certainly is not, um, not great. Uh, you don't plan these things, uh, but it's come up uh, very recently, and, and it's an opportunity to uh, get my foot in the door into Europe in a big competition. Uh, and that's where I'd like to take my next challenge. Um, it's been an amazing five years. Uh, it's hard to reflect right now uh, because of everything that's happened, uh, in particular since this morning. Uh, but you know, starting the club from, uh, from zero, uh, leaving Crystal Palace to pursue this opportunity, uh, to see where the club is now after five years, uh, with a new stadium to come, uh, training ground, uh, amazing fans, which need a lot of credit. Um, you know, a CEO that I've started with from day one uh, to see how well this club is run. Uh, board and, and chairman, Paul Lederer, uh, who's uh, been amazing support uh, even up to this morning when uh, we had that difficult conversation. Uh, it's, I leave a lot of special memories, uh, some friends that I've made, uh, an amazing football staff that has always supported me uh, with the direction that we wanted to go with the football club. Uh, players, you know, um, I'd love to thank all the players from day one, uh, not just the players that are here now, but, you know, some amazing people, amazing players have played here at Wanderers. Uh, and the group of players that we've assembled now, I'm sure whoever comes in will have a fantastic foundation uh, to be able to build and bring his own ideas uh, into continuing to make Western Sydney Wanderers successful. So I uh, thank you all.